What's going on guys? Tim with the Back Row Garage, back with another video. Today's video, we got a little uh, install type vloggity vlog video. We're going to my buddy's Pete's house. He's got a new generation, or uh, latest generation uh, STI. We're gonna be doing, uh, I believe, carbon trunk, coilovers, and some wheels. So we're gonna get this, the fitment set up. But um, yeah, we're gonna get into that. So we're driving over there. We're in the daily right now. We got the 93 Mercury Topaz. She's got 57,000 miles. She's a good girl. All right, so we're pulling up to his crib right now. We got the roads covered in snow. Too bad my e-brake doesn't really work in this thing, but that's what happens when you buy a thousand dollar car. So, ah, oh, there it is. He's got a new XC40 Volvo for the daily. He's got the Subaru in the garage, so. A little chilly today. I think it's about, uh, I don't know, eight degrees with some wind chill so it feels like negative so hopefully this garage is nice and warm i actually bought a little heater here so hopefully we can keep our hands warm so let's get into it all right so we got the faction fab coilovers there's the carbon trunk i was telling you guys about and we got the esr wheels and a nice blue Pete, you know the actual color code of this or what uh no dan that's a shame might be able to find it. Blue, blue. Blue, blue. Yeah, they're blue, blue. Blue, blue, blue ESRs. We got the Indy Firehawk, Indy 500 joints. All right, so he's getting rid of these white ESRs that he's got, the uh, six spoke. Definitely uh, a little used and abused color wise, but. Apex blue. Apex, oh, we got the color. It's Apex blue. Apex blue. Definitely looks nice. All right, so Pete's had a couple different trunk setups. This is the stock STI wing with the supports. Obviously we got the carbon trunk. He had a big wing before and he had two separate trunks. The big wing was on the other trunk, but he sold the wing. So he's got another trunk. So he's got three trunks now, but this one's going on. It's got the nice duck bill. That's kind of, I kind of want the, for the Mustang, but they're like three to six months out. So definitely, uh, and they're also like $1,200. So definitely don't want to do that. So we got all trimmed up. We took the little trim panel off one of his three trunks, called the parts trunk, and then the light bulb or the bulb holders and the camera. The camera is a little, a little shaky, so we're gonna try jerry rigging it so it's nice and stable, but it's, it'll never fall out. So, and we got the trunk latch. But the kit that he bought off, we got a good deal used, but he sticker bombed the inside, so to each their own, I guess. But we got the baby girl on board what else we got anything funny no, not no really. nothing good all the basic uh Super go stuff. fast stickers tome yeah. oh. is, that, is, a tome oh, is that a tome is that a car. tome in the chamber i know all right so pete's hopping in there he's gonna lay down through the back to actually fully tighten it down he just got it like hand tight so he'll get a nice uh body body panel gap on each side but we got it on it looks very subtle with the dark gray metallic. That's why I had the carbon fenders on my Subaru. And definitely, if you're not looking too close in pictures, you can definitely tell. But it's got the, that's the dark gray metallic trim piece we were that we swapped over. But this little duck bill looks good. We got the car jacked up. He's wiggling his bome because uh, the spring is rubbing on the rear sway bar. But we're gonna toss on the F1 light. What'd you get, the smoked one or? The, yeah, I think it's the latest version of smoke. It's got the red bar all the way around it. Yeah. And smoke with the red, yeah. with the red light. So that's gonna go there. And we got the car up. We're gonna start with the rear coilovers because we had to jack it up to do the light. But we got the trunk on. Looks good. Nice duck bill. Oh yeah. Yeah, I want one for the Mustang. Gonna hurt my checkbook. All right, so we're starting the coilovers now. We got the wheels off, obviously jacked up. One bolt, two bolt, three bolt, sway bar, strut. And this is, goes into the knuckle. Then all is two bolts at the top. And then we'll pull them out. 
And that's the same, repeat the process for the other side. And then we're gonna do the fronts. He's gotta figure out how to do this rear brake light. So, definitely uh, a very easy job on these Subarus. Struts. Got the rear struts off. Well, one of them. The but lowering springs. Like I showed you before down there, and then it's just two bolts at the top behind stuff in the trunk. Pretty easy. These cars are way too easy to modify. That's why every 12 year old has one. Well, they have WRXs. Let me rephrase that. They have WRXs and they modify them. And then, then they upgrade to the STIs. Oh boy. Little comparison. Uh, I would say the coilover is much smaller. So we're gonna have to figure this one out. That's. But we're gonna set them all the same height. Well, not all, but the two rears will be the same. We'll measure them and then we'll toss them on. All right, just for a little pro tip for coilovers. These ones are 32 way adjustable. They come with the Allen head to stick down in there and adjust them. So I always make sure they're the same and what you want to run it. These are 32 way. We put them at 19 in the rear because he likes to have the back a little more stiff. If you know what I'm saying? So uh, the second part is make sure that you measure this. You can measure however you want from the top to the lockout ring, whatever you want, but make sure you both sides are the same. Otherwise you're gonna have a, a weird looking car. We started a little bit more than halfway down. So he wants to be nice and low, but let's see. Yeah, we set both these at like, I believe it was, inch and a half or inch and a quarter so so he went with the two fifty-five thirty-five 18s so we're gonna toss the wheels on we got the back all back together but we're gonna drop it down and see how it looks fitment wise and then we're gonna adjust and then tighten everything down that's what we're working with right there all right so we got the wheels mounted we're gonna drop it down See how it looks. The blue definitely looks real nice. Nice different look with the dark gray metallic. What do you think, Pete? I like it. So you far, like it? As long as it's low enough. Yeah, we'll see if we have to make any adjustments, but he said he's got, he's got the red sticker over the STI on the caliper. He's got to peel those off. It's way underneath. That'll definitely look nice. All right, let's see how she looks from lower down. I'm going to need to drop the e-brake, obviously. Yeah. We're walking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's how that fucking fitment though is nuts. Yep. It's like, like back or whatever. That blue hits hard, son. Yeah, you got like a finger straight on. All right, so we got the front jacked up. Now we're gonna be doing the, the front coil of us. Right. Oof. Pete's making a ruckus over there. But these are real simple. Three bolts up here, two bolts in here. Slap the new ones in. So I'm over here. We got the little space here. Got the new ones for the front. We're gonna. I'm gonna set them up. Hopefully, we won't have to adjust them like we have to adjust the back. But be shacking the car up. So your typical EJ257 HS joint. Oh. <laughs> we're working our way through these but it's almost nice living in new england in a way i'm not gonna say it is nice for cars but it's nice having your car put away and you can kind of just put it on jack stands and just work on it and you don't have to worry about it so i guess that's one positive of being able to store your car in the winter but that's pretty much the only positive and keeping miles off it but that doesn't really matter moment of truth i guess right yeah Lower that puppy down. Oh yeah. Krispy Kreme donuts. What are the chances of guessing perfect on both of them? Slim. Let me grab the light. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. Look at that fig. Look at that figment, bro. That's the, the hella flush figment. Oh yeah. Look at that. Check out this oh. one. Low and slow, baby. Low and slow. Damn, I wish I could. So if you guys are looking for STI wheels or WRX wheels, uh, definitely go with 19 by 9.5 and, 
and the offset's 35. As you can see, I mean, he can't really get, there's a ever so slight bit of poke, but just the perfect amount. And this is a 255, 35. So, I mean, in my opinion, that's perfect. And it's the perfect amount of low, but car definitely looks completely different with the, without the wing, with the carbon trunk and the wheels. Definitely like the dark gray, uh, what was the apex blue for the wheels? Yeah, the dark gray with the apex blue. Definitely a good look. And he's got, like I said earlier, he's gonna get rid of those red STI stickers on the calipers. But, and he also did the F1 light. I don't know if I got that, but. Oh, I can't see it though. Yeah, take out the camera. He did the F1 light. It's got the the LED strip around it, and it's the non-flashing one, just the regular brake. So it's a fourth brake light. But so that wraps up this video. But in the springtime, I'll probably end up driving this thing. A little review. Then maybe Pete will be driving the Mustang. Do a little little driving impressions from a Subaru owner on a, some American muscle. But that's pretty much it. I mean, transform the car completely. Going from big stock wing to no wing at all. And then white wheels, which you hated cleaning, right, Pete? I don't clean. <laughs> yeah, I don't clean. I don't clean. So maybe I'm trying to convince him to get these ceramic coated, which he definitely should because that blue is awesome. But Tim with the Back Row Garage, sponsored by Pete and his spending money habits of buying car parts. Bad habits. But, We'll see you in the next one.